Hi there, my name is Marco Fiorentini and I'm an associate professor at uh, the School of Earth and Environment at the University of Western Australia. I'm actually here to talk to you about uh, the major in geology that you can do here at UWA. This is a fantastic uh, course or a major that you can do and it provides you with an opportunity really to have uh, a great understanding of how our planet evolved and was shaped throughout its four and a half billion years of life. It's a great opportunity not only to uh, acquire those skills that uh, are gonna shape your career in the mining industry, but it will also provide you a great opportunity to be involved with environmental issues and work in a wide range of jobs, not only in Australia, but globally. So how can you study geology at UWA? You can either select geology as a degree specific uh, subject within the bachelors of science or the bachelors of uh, philosophy honors or otherwise you can select geology as a second major within any of the bachelor's degree which are offered at UWA. And now I'm going to give you a bit of a snapshot about the units that you're going to study, the core units that you're going to study within the major at UWA. At year one, you have two core units, Introduction to Geology and Dynamic Planets. And uh, I have here Mary G, who is going to talk to you about them in detail. Hello, my name is Mary G. I'm first year geoscience coordinator in the School of Earth and Environment here at UWA. In first semester, first year, I coordinate EART 1105, Dynamic Planet, which is a broad-based Earth System Science unit. For this, we draw on specialties from across the school, and as we're a very diverse school with lots of specialist fields, we can be uh, covering topics such as climate change, we can be looking at the way the biosphere inter interacts with the rest of the planet, we can be looking at volcanoes and the way that they interact with the atmosphere, for instance. So it's an extremely diverse unit, and it's a unit that is updated yearly, so it's very hard to talk about specific content. We also focus a lot on students um, learning about Earth systems, Earth processes, and learning about topical um, processes such as climate, for instance, which is a very popular process, but not just discussing it from a, a point of view of somebody reading the literature, but looking at the data behind this. So we actually go back to the ice core data so that we can focus on the way climate has behaved on this planet over the past 700,000 years and it's a key part of the unit that you, that you as a student will be able to look at a data set like that, interpret a data set like that and be able to make up your own mind about some of the media information you're getting. At the end of Dynamic Planet you'll have a general understanding of Earth systems, how complex they are and how they interact with each other, how many variables are in those systems. And you'll be able to apply that understanding to your future studies here at UWA and also to your life in general. One of the units I coordinate is second semester introduction to geology unit EART 1104. This unit's very much what it says it is. It's an introduction to geology. So we're heavily practical based. Uh, we do start with um, mineral identification. This is a keystone to the geological processes that we are going to go on and discuss. At the end of Introduction to Geology, you'll have a very broad-based understanding of geological processes and, in some ways what's more important, of applied geology, how this applies to the environments surrounding you. In Year 2, you have two core units. The first one is Earth Materials that I'm actually teaching together with Annette George. And in this unit, we're going to really talk about how you form rocks. You can either form rocks in big volcanoes or other you can form in big sedimentary basins, uh, I don't know, under the ocean or in places like that. The second core unit is Earth Processes. And this core unit is actually taught by Eric Tober and it looks at how rocks are deformed 
when uh, metamorphic processes occur. Just to give you an idea of what I mean with that, you look at our rocks are broken up and uh, deformed when mountain belts form. In year two, we also have uh, two complementary units. The first one is a uh, field geology, and it's actually a unit which is highly recommended also for all the students uh, who choose uh, geology as a second major. This unit uh, is great. It actually teaches you all the skills that are required to be used by a geologist when in the field. So you're gonna be in remote areas, mapping rocks, uh, identifying rock types, um, putting colors on a map, trying to understand a little bit uh, the special relation between and among different types of rocks. The second complementary unit is environmental hydrology. And that's a great unit because it teaches all those skills to understand the behavior of water in the ground. So groundwater, we all know how water is vital to our life, to the environment, to our planet. And uh, within this complementary unit, you're going to learn a little bit about its chemistry, about uh, its behavior in the ground. In the third year, you actually have uh, four core units. The first one is uh, geochemistry and petrology. That's the one I coordinate. And it's a unit that uh, builds on your skill, on the skills, on the skills that you acquired in the second year core unit, uh, earth uh, materials. So within this uh, third year unit, we are going to look in detail of how rocks formed within, especially magmatic systems like volcanoes of different types uh, in the most exotic place on the planet. We are going to also look at uh, the geochemistry of these uh, magmas, and we are going to look uh, at how these magmas evolved within and during uh, the history of the planet. The second core unit in the third year is structural, ge structural geology and tectonics. If you ever wanted to know more about uh, what the plate tectonics is or large-scale geological processes, this is the unit uh, for you. It's actually extremely exciting and you're going to learn about how the planet operates at the big scale how large mountains are formed, how oceanic islands are formed, and so on and so forth. The third core unit in the third year is basin analysis. This is an exciting unit which looks at how large and thick sedimentary basins are formed. What are sedimentary basins? They are thick accumulations of sediments which contains large mineral deposits, large amounts of the water that we need to survive and uh, rich uh, oil reservoirs. So if you're interested uh, in these topics, this is the unit which is for you. And the fourth unit in the third year is geological mapping. This is a very exciting unit because it really provides you with those practical skills that you need when you go about in the field mapping rocks. By the end of this unit, you'll be able, you'll be capable to produce uh, geological maps. And the geological maps are really the first order type of database that geologists use when they have to study a specific part of the planet. So translating what the geology is into a map, that's what it's all about. And that's what you're gonna learn within this unit. You can expect an average of uh, five contact hours per unit per week. And that includes lectures and labs, which are actually extremely important in geology because that's where you're gonna look at rocks. When you're not in the field, you're gonna use microscopes and you're gonna really try to understand how rocks are, look like. Um, an important component of the geology major is certainly field work. So some units involve field trips, and these range in length between one, two days to a week, 10 days. And they usually are a very important component of the unit because uh, 
that's actually where you're going to look at the rocks in their habitat, if you wish. And they're actually really a lot of fun as well. Once you are done with uh, your three-year undergraduate unit, as I know you'll want to know more about geology, there are two options, basically. Uh, the first option is actually doing uh, a two years master by coursework. And the second option is uh, doing a fourth year honors uh, followed or leading to a fifth year master's by either research or coursework. If we want to put uh, things in perspective uh, within a, a global scale, most geology degrees in the world are four to five year long. And if you want to really get uh, the skills that are needed to make you an excellent geologist, it's actually highly recommended that you do either four or five years. In both of those options, you'll have the opportunity to carry out an independent piece of research or an independent project. And that's a fantastic opportunity. I had students, uh, honor students this year who came back from Greenland and they had the opportunity to map and collect samples at 80 degrees north in the north of the planet. Then um, others who worked in conjunction with uh, exploration companies in Western Australia, or others that uh, uh, worked in the Kimberleys or in other parts. So geology is truly a global study because the planet is what we study. And in order to look at rocks, study rocks, understand how the planet works, we really have to travel and look for the best examples of what we want to learn. As I'm sure I've convinced you all to do a geology major, I'm going to see you all next year.